Hi there. In response to a question posted in the comments the other day, I'd like to show you how I select markets and set them up in Fairbot so I can access them quickly throughout the day. Rather than using the standard menu functionality at the left hand side, which can be a bit of a pain to navigate if you're looking for lots of different markets, I use the My Market section to store things in. Let me just clear those away because they're from earlier on today. And I make use of the Select Markets tool, which allows me to go in and view uh, up and coming markets. Now, at the moment, you'll see I have tennis selected down the left hand side here and match odds. Um, clicking here to remove the match odds, or alternatively, you can click over here to remove those items. So, if I'm looking for horse racing, you click on the horse racing, you'll see that this changes with regard to the markets that are available in horse racing. You just click on the win option. And in this bottom right hand panel here, you'll get the list of all the markets that are coming up tomorrow. I'm currently recording this at 20 to 12 on Thursday the 19th. So since the original question was regarding tennis, uh, we'll just concentrate on the tennis side of things. So use this panel here to filter all the main sporting events and the corresponding markets contained therein. So choose tennis for this particular example and the match odds. And that will filter the panel list here. Uh, you can see you can specify a time range. So I've got it set for tomorrow, given that it's so late at night just now. But you can obviously just do the next two hours, next six hours today, or longer in the future, uh, the whole week, or indeed any time. Typically, I will use either today or tomorrow. Next section you might want to consider is the going in play and in play options. Uh, these specify whether a market is going to be in play or not, uh, and you can correspondingly list those ones that are going in play only or not in play at all. And you'll see there's no tennis matches that are going uh, that are not going to be in play. Or of course you can choose both of those conditions. Similarly for the in play option. Now, generally speaking, I have that switch to no because I want to look at these markets in advance. I may not necessarily want to find out which markets are currently ongoing. Uh, and then finally, um, although it's not directly related to this, show markets with my bets only. That can be a useful tool if you have a number of market, uh, sorry, a number of trades and bets in various markets very easy to lose track of where your money is lying. So if you click on that option there um, and remove the any sports and things, it will list all the markets that you happen to be involved in. So it's very easy to trace where your money is lying. Just switch that off for now. And then, so I come in here, having established all these, I can then use the column headers here to filter this, or should I say sort this table based on the column headings. But generally speaking, within something like tennis, I would only use the details column, which allows you to sort by uh, the particular tournament, or I'd use the matched option, which allows you to sort by volume at this particular point in time. Now click on that again, each time you click, it sorts the order into ascending to de uh, or descending. And that applies to any of these columns that you, you click in. So we'll go to matched, have that sorted in descending order so that the most volume matches are there. Clearly, as the day progresses, these figures will all change as money comes into the market. So I would periodically go back into this tool and we'll look at which ones are coming up shortly. Uh, I, I would now then select the ones that I'm interested in. So I may just choose the ones that currently have more than a thousand pounds traded. I would select those and then I would click on add to my markets and that pops those into this left hand column here, which gives me easy access to those markets throughout the day. I can also add them to the market watch list and if I pull the market watch list up, you'll see that's them added in there. From where, of course, I can now ass assign a strategy 
simply by selecting all of those and choosing the tennis strategy that I would prefer to use. Okay, and that's essentially it. From there, of course, I can now access each of those markets. I can then go and take those matches, look them up for head to head records and stats in various websites such as Flash Scores or the ATP website or the WTA website, and so on. It's uh, your choice. But hopefully, that gives you an idea of how I go about that. Uh, quickly identifying which events I might want to get involved in in the coming days. Thank you.